first guest, the voice coaches. I'm not good at games. I'm just happy to be here. This game, you're going to have to sing the lyrics exactly right. When I break free, now that I've become... Sneak episode of That's My Jam, Monday on NBC. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Julie Bowen, NBC Tonight. This is NBC4 News at 11. Now at 11, you could hear it, you could feel it, you could almost see it out there tonight. Powerful windy gusts sweeping through Southern California on this Thanksgiving Eve. We are tracking the fire danger and the potential for power outages. But first, breaking news. It has happened again. This time, thieves ran into the Nordstrom at the Westfield Topanga Mall, taking anything they could get their hands on and pepper spraying a security guard on the way out. Let's get right to NBC4's Beverly White, live right now in Canoga Park, with more details on this breaking news for us. Beverly. That's right, Colleen. There was no smashing, just grabbing at the Westfield Topanga Mall here tonight around 7 p.m. when five robbers in ski masks grabbed some expensive purses, we're told, and escaped in a gray sports car. The Topanga Mall was busy with holiday shoppers when robbers struck Nordstrom from the Victory Boulevard side, grabbed luxury merchandise, and ran, leaving in their wake an injured store worker, possibly doused in pepper spray. They attacked him with some kind of a caustic chemical. Um, after the initial suspect attacked the security guard, additional suspects entered the location and removed a number of high value, uh, high dollar purses from the location. So the, the loss here is going to total uh, roughly about $25,000. The LAPD says it's boosted mall patrols due to a rash of robberies in recent days. Luxury stores targeted last weekend in Beverly Hills. And then after hours on Monday, a window shattered during a smash and grab at Nordstrom in the Grove. This shopper from Santa Clarita was rattled in the aftermath at Topanga Mall. I was a bit scared to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, you, you're kind of encountering these type of situations now. Um, so especially, you know, when you went, you're out with your kid, you're like, oh, wait a minute, am I supposed to be on alert or of what, what's going on around me. LAPD confirms the robbers here got away in a Ford Mustang, unknown direction of travel. They're asking everyone to take steps to stay safe and be a good witness if possible, as this uptick in retail crime shows no signs of letting up. It's similar in the nature because we had a number of suspects enter simultaneously, remove property, and then flee back to a vehicle. So, um, you know, it's kind of interesting. We had a lot of officers in the area, but unfortunately, this particular area, there were no officers at this, this spot at the time that it occurred. Now, the LAPD is asking anyone who sees the robbers or their getaway car to call the LAPD non-emergency hotline. That's 1-87-ASK-LAPD. The department also alerted the Ventura County Sheriff's Department and the Lost Hills Malibu LA Sheriff's Department to be on the lookout as well. Reporting live in Canoga Park, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News. All right, Beverly, thank you. Also tonight, we're tracking those dangerously strong winds, enough to reignite this fire in Riverside. The Arlanza fire started on Sunday and was later contained to about 17 acres. Well, tonight, those hot spots flared up again. The uh, fire driven by the wind out there jumped the containment line and has forced evacuations for people living along Valley Drive between Misty Ridge and Mitchell Avenue. Now we have team coverage tonight on the wind. Meteorologist Melissa McGee with some of the current wind gusts and what to expect for Thanksgiving. But we want to start with NBC4's Robert Kovacic. He is live in Studio City. Robert. Kathy and Colleen, there's so much to talk about in terms of what is going on outside tonight, but we are going to start with where we're standing here at Laurel Canyon and Moore Park in Studio City. Due to a power, we are standing behind some bricks here because we're not tenses. This intersection, the lights are out and cars have just been running through. Not quite sure what is going on here. And as we take a look from overhead, news shot before just how far this power outage stretches in Studio City. This year's worst fire threat has arrived the night before Thanksgiving and now with these gusty winds and dry conditions, the next few hours are going to decide if this holiday has to be put on hold to deal with disaster. Southern California would certainly be thankful if quickly contained fires are 